Hey guys, Scav here again. Uh, something I've been asked about a few times, I've had it in a couple of my videos, and I finally got the time to do it today. But uh, I wanted to share my a rundown of my spice kit. Uh, basically all it is is a tin that I found at Goodwill. As many know, I'm a Goodwill nut. Uh, you could just as easily use an, an Altoids tin, which is the same width, uh, just not as long. This just happens to work out better. You just have to scale it down a little bit. But anyway, I keep these range bands on it, some inner tube pieces to keep it closed. Not really necessary, but just precautionary. But uh, I got these neat little containers, and I looked and looked and looked and looked for something suitable for this. And these just happen to work out, but uh, they've got a nice, whoop, nice little... Uh, open on the right end. Nice little shaker on there and as you can see it well, flows out quite quite nice. But so they, they, they happen to work out. And I got them at uh, the Dollar Tree and they came as these glitter uh, containers. All I did was dump out the glitter, clean them out really well and uh, they make a great spice kit for next to nothing. But I've got pepper, seasoning salt, uh, I think it's a Cajun seasoning salt, garlic, cinnamon, and salt. And then I've got several different kinds of bouillon cubes just because they make a, a nice, quick, simple addition to any meal, whether it be wild edibles or some of the various trail foods that you can eat. Um, that's a bigger type of bouillon cube. It's uh, a tomato. Uh, usually they carry it in the Hispanic aisle. Uh, at Walmart, I think, is where I get them. And this one's a chicken, a bigger chicken broth type one. And then I've also got some sugar packets, you know, sugar substitutes and sugars in here. And uh, they fit in there pretty well. And you can put more underneath the bottom of it and, and still get them to, to fit in there nice. But I want to sh also show you that if I wanted to, I could scale it down and these fit in to an Altoids tin pretty easily here. Looks like about four of them will fit in there. And then you can limit yourself. You know, you can put some sugar sugar packets under there as well. But these containers rock, and it's you know it's not a, it's not like a spice kit that I would take out for like a, a week excursion or by any means. But in my day pack for just uh, mess around in the woods, this is what I carry, and it's worked out quite well for me. Uh, I know there are bigger containers you can use, uh, film canisters and whatnot, but this is what I ended up going with, and hopefully somebody else can benefit from it.